First, though, right off the top tonight at 10 o'clock, Dallas police are investigating two sexual assaults that they believe may be linked. The most recent happening today as a woman walked inside her own home. Our Ken Malasina just talked to, to police. Yeah, and police are sending out a strong word of caution tonight. They're hoping to get this suspect before this happens again. Uh, today's case, want to run that by you. Uh, police say a 23 year old woman was forced into her home on the 2900 block of Kendale by a man who sexually assaulted her. A witness who saw what was happening had knocked on the door. The suspect, we're being told by police, answered and told the, her that the victim was not home. That's when that man took off uh, with some of stolen belongings from inside the house. Now, that man is believed to be in his 20s. He's described as a Latin male with tattoos on his arms and his hands, and he was wearing a T-shirt that said Thug Life. Now, I want to draw your attention to a different case because investigators say that today's case fits the M.O. of a different investigation that they have going on to a very similar assault that happened back on June 26th. That one happened on the 8600 block of lazy acres. In that case, a 24 year old woman was sexually assaulted with children present, according to police. Now, take a look at this uh, suspect sketch that was developed following that investigation. Take a good look at it. Uh, police are looking for this person, again, connected to the June 26th assault. He fits the same description as today's assault, and police tonight are saying that they have good reason to believe that these two cases are linked. It's a good possibility that these cases are related. We don't have anything forensically or with any evidence that links the cases um, positively, but there are just very strong similarities, and we felt that we needed to get these cases out. And a little more information on the uh, suspect. Uh, police say that uh, witnesses told them that they did see that suspect drive off in a black PT cruiser with a Dallas Cowboy decal or a Dallas Cowboy sticker on the back windshield. So they want people to take a note of that. Folks, if you have any information tonight, Dallas police is asking you to give them a call. For now, we're live. In